Amen. Hallelujah. Should not perish. Should not perish. I will not perish. Shall not perish. But have everlasting, everlasting, everlasting. in him. And not a life of sickness. Not a life of just barely getting by. Amen. Not a life of, of uh, just having a little bit. But his life. That God Amen. kind of life in our life. Amen? Amen. Aren't you glad the Lord has given us life? Eternal life in him. Glory to God. Amen. He's forgiven us. He's restored us. He has healed us. He's given his beloved son. And you know what the son gives us? He gives us forgiveness. He gives us grace. He gives us the riches and glory. He gives us eternal life. He gives us healing. Glory to God. He gives us redemption. He gives us his word. My God. We have a God that is awesome. Glory to God. A God that not only heals you, he But that statue is inerrant. It's not going to do anything. You can pray to this or that. It's not going to do anything. But our God, He hears you. Why does He hear you? Because we receive His gift, Jesus Christ. And if He hears you, the Word of God said, we have the confidence in our heart. Now tell us in confidence. That faith, if we know it, we hear, if He hears us, if we ask anything according to His will, according to His Word, according to His command, according to His Yeah. Just delight yourself. Yeah. Let's look beyond the, 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 the material thing, but if you just delight yourself in him, yeah. delight yourself in what he's done for you, yeah. delight yourself in his mercy toward you. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Delight yourself in the goodness He's given us. My goodness, amen. Yeah. He's given us everything we could ever want or need. Yeah. He's the son yeah. on the cross. Father God, yeah. it is finished. Yeah. Everything to bring them yeah. back. Everything to restore them.
exactly know that by heart. We should yeah. know that by heart. Yeah. They yeah. go to football games, they put John 3, 16. But it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, yes. that whosoever yes. believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Yeah, well, and so we know that this <laughs> word, it says that God gave his best, that he looked down on earth and he seen the corruption and he seen everything well. that was going wrong. And he says, you know, I need to fix this. And he sacrificed his son. I have a son. Amen. I'm going to be a grandma soon. Amen. I just think I would want to sacrifice um, my son. But it says that God loved us so much that he gave his only son. And that's why we have the cross. We have that cross for a purpose. Do you know that the cross, when we look at it, it should remind us that we're forgiven. It should remind us that, you know what? Someone loved us enough to lay his Amen. life down. Yes. And so I want to encourage you today that it doesn't matter where you are in, in your life. It doesn't matter what you're going through. I just know that the word of God says that if we cast our cares upon him, that he cares for us. That it doesn't matter if I'm you know, in a place where I don't think I'm going to be able to get out. It says in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, it says, But if I trust the Lord with all my heart and lean on unto my own understanding, yeah. but in all my ways acknowledge him, yeah. he'll direct my path. So it doesn't matter what that path is. I mean, I can tell you my testimony. <coughs> Uh, of 16 when I went through gang banging, that I went through smoking crack cocaine, that I went through um, smoking angel dust. I don't even know if they do that in, anymore, but in the 70s, that's what we did. But my mind was all messed up. I didn't know where I was going. But I knew that there had to be something better than being at the park, being loaded out of my mind, not knowing where I was coming or where I was going, because I was searching, and a lot of people are searching. They do it through a bottle. They do it through a pipe. They do it you know, through different things. But you know what? If we trust God and believe what the, the cross means, then you know what? We don't have to live that way. That's right. Yeah. Amen. That's right. We don't have to live in bondage if we just yeah. trust God. And you know what I finally came to that place where, you know, I left my son when he was like one years old. I just took off and just got so loaded. I just was looking um, for something. And I was saved. I was already saved. I already knew God, but I backslid because someone hurt me. Someone hurt my feeling. And you know what? I've learned that even though I backslid, that God was there with me. Amen. You know, I lost Amen. my car. Yeah. I was a manager of four fantastic sounds that I took care of from all over the South Bay area, and I left that to just find something that wasn't there. Mm. I had it made, but I was going through something. And you know what? <laughs> Until I looked up, Amen. And said, okay, God, I know you're real. I know that, you know, there has to be something better than this. Because, see, once you taste the Lord mm -hmm. and you see his good, yes, you know yes. what? You'll want to crave more of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. You'll want more. Even though the enemy will try to, to take you out, yes, let me tell you, when I was in that place, I remembered in that dark place that Jesus came to me and says that I stand at the door and knock, that I'm here with you. What are you doing? Until I came to my senses and thought, you know what, I don't live, have to live in this place that I am. I can trust the Lord and know that he's going to, to bless me. Amen. And so I want to encourage you that, you know what, you are loved. Amen. That there is someone that cares for you. These women and these men that come every Wednesday, you know, they don't do it because we pay them. I wish we could, but they don't do it because we pay them. They do it because they love Christ. And Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Five years old, and you know what? She loves feeding. Oh, she loves, and any of them know who she is? She's a little gray hair lady yeah. there, yeah. Miss Lulu. They call yeah. her Grandma Lulu, but she loves doing that. And you know, sometimes my brothers and sisters will say, "You know, Mom, you need to slow down. You can't be doing that." And I look at them and I said, "No, there's no retirement in Christ Jesus." Yeah. Yeah. And that I needed help and somebody reached out to me. Amen. And so we're Amen. here not to say that we're better than you because can I tell you <coughs> that you are kings, you are priests, yeah. you are kings. Yeah. Don't let anybody lie to you and say, well, you're out there, you're doing it. You know what? I'm somebody in Christ. I'm here falling on my face, but I know that God's there just like the woman with the issue of blood. 
suffered all those years being sick in her body. She knew, but if I can but just touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. And sometimes, just hold on to his garment, regardless of what the doctor said, regardless of your situation. You know, the Bible also says that he is the I am. He asked who am I? He goes, I am the I am. So he is your I am to your situation. Whatever it may be, And so we're grateful that, you know, you're here today. And, and I just pray that you take John 3, 316. Don't let it be callous. Amen. Because the world, oh, yeah, I know that scripture. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I know about Jesus. No, make it new. God's word says that his, his word is new every morning. So That's God, right. his word, well, he just brings something up into to my life. Yes. And so Amen. we're here. We know that 2016, you're going to be blessed because you're crowned with yeah. destiny. Yeah. And God has yeah. purpose. Remember, you're just walking through yeah. those times of maybe discouragement. Uh, maybe you're going through those times of there's lack in your life. Keep going. Don't let those yeah. things yeah. nest in your head. Yes. Keep walking, just yeah. like the children yeah. of Israel. They kept walking yeah. when Moses yeah. parted the Red Sea. Yeah. If they were to stay there, they would have drowned. Yeah. But they knew when they looked from the right to the left, they seen all this water. You know, fear came into them. So you know what Moses says, keep walking. God says, keep walking because better time. Uh, God has better things ahead for you. And I know that he can do it for me, a drug addict, a crack cane addict. I know that he can do it for you. You know what, when I think about those times, I tell the devil, when you thought you had me, I'm going to turn it around. And yeah. minister to people and say, you know what? I've been there. I've done that. But you know what? I reached out to God and he was there. Yes. Nothing could help me. My family couldn't help me. My friends couldn't help me. It was me that had to cry out to God That's and say, why God, here I am. Many times that I could have been killed, I was, I was at gunpoint, you know, I was beaten almost to death, but you know what, God had something in store, and I thank God for my husband, you know, Pastor Man, Amen. Pastor, this great ministry, and Amen. we thank God for his father, Pastor Bob Duell, who's already in heaven, Amen. but he started this ministry on the back of a truck, and he preached the gospel, and that's Amen. what we're doing. The gospel, we're preaching the gospel, which is love. Yes. God loves you so much. Amen. Yes. Yes. And so be encouraged. Don't let the holidays get you like, you know, where's my family? And I'm sad and I'm alone. No, you know what? Jesus is with you. Amen. And where are your family? And you know, I want to encourage you. Don't just come on Wednesdays. We're here on Sunday morning. You know, we're here Thursday nights. We're always doing this Tuesday. That's coming up. We're going to celebrate New Year's. So come on down. We're going to have food and eat. Yeah. So don't think that you just have to come on Wednesdays. This ministry is open for you. Anytime the doors are open, it's open for you. Why? Because Amen. we love you. The Bible says, come as you are. I came as I was. Oh, yes, I go through things, but I hold on to the hem of his garment. That's right. And I know Amen. that, you know, God, you have to bring me through. And so, yes, you know, I have my kids yes, that I have to continue to believe that they're going to serve God because they all are in church. But I continue to pray for them. I continue to pray for my brother, Art, that's sitting in prison. Amen. They gave him 30, to, 30 years to life. But I know that God's going to turn it around. Amen. I know that he can do it for those that are coming out that are three strikers. And you know what upsets me is a lot of those that are in prison, all they did, they were just drug addicts. They got caught up in the wrong thing and gave them a strike. But I know that my God is delivering them and they're coming out. So if you have someone in prison, my heart is in prison. Holly and I go to Seattle, the women's prison. I love it. Because you know what? I was there. And I don't forget where I come amen. from. But I thank amen. God, amen. amen, that I know where I'm amen. going. Amen. amen. I'm going to beyond it. To be with my Lord. Well, we're going to go ahead and sing. Amen. Um, this is Denise. Denise, say hi to my daughter, Joyce. Noel, put a smile on your face. Amen. This is Jessica. This is um, Vanessa. I was going to call her Bronco. But they're going to come to sing. Is it okay if they sing? Yes. You guys are going to sing a song. You can join us. We're going to sing Merry Christmas. Amen. To you. Because we love you, because I know you guys are hungry. Amen. Come on up. We're going to sing. Come with us and help us. Amen. We're going to sing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Do you have a prescription business sign? No, but you have one? We're going to sing. We're going to sing. Yeah, we'll sing now. They're going to sing Silent Night. Okay, well, let's sing um, Silent Night first, and then wish oh, okay. me. Oh, okay. That's more at my Okay. How many of you know Silent Night? Yeah. yeah. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. 